Hey kids, it's Palm Sunday. 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 Kids, this is a very special week. We get to reveal the amazing story of Jesus and his super ultimate love and sacrifice for us. As we get ready for Easter Sunday, we will take a look at the events that led up to Easter. Thousands of years ago, this week represented more than just eggs and bunnies and Easter baskets. This week represented something spectacular that tells us that Jesus really meant it when he says, we matter. That's why we celebrate Jesus on Palm Sunday. So check out the story. Stories of the Bible. The Triumphal Entry. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, He taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town. You're coming? And Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. Okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do, for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset and they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers. So the people kept on singing, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, who is this? And the crowds replied, it's Jesus. And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry just as God said he would many years before. Wasn't that amazing? I mean, what an entrance. It gives me goosebumps just listening to this story. Now, there are three words I want you to remember from this story. Number one, donkey. Now, I know you guys are probably saying, that's a weird word. Why a donkey, Hasana? That has nothing to do with Jesus. Well, it does. You see, God promised many years before Jesus was even born that there will be a king to come and save all people. Jesus is that promised king. And when I think of a king, I think about kings who ride on their horses and come to be better than everyone else and show off and use power to force people. But Jesus is not like that. 
when he comes in on the donkey, he is coming with no pride, not showing off, but coming in with love and humility. Number two, palms. Okay, now you might be thinking once again, why a random word, Masana? But did you see what happened in that video? The people cut off palm branches and waved them in the air and laid them on the ground along with their cloaks to honor Jesus. It was a celebration sign. And did you know that palm trees in the ancient times were seen as majestic? Because they grew so large and up to 50 feet tall and their leaves grew out so high. They shouted out, Hosanna, which means save now, to celebrate the one and true Savior of the world. Palm branches represented victory, goodness, joy. They were used in many festivals to celebrate a joyful occasion. Number three, wept. Now, as Jesus was riding in on his donkey in the crowds where everyone was shouting his name and singing his praises, the Bible says that Jesus looked at the city and wept. Jesus? Sad? Why? Although this was a very happy celebration for Jesus coming into the city, Jesus knew that there was a big plan he needed to do. And this big plan was going to change people's lives, change their hearts. But Jesus knew that there were many people who did not know the truth. They did not know Jesus. And Jesus felt compassion for them. The Bible says, if they only knew. Jesus was getting ready to do something super important. And it came with a price. Kids, I want you to remember how important this week is. I want you to keep in mind those three words, donkey, palms, and wept. And remember what each of those words mean. This Wednesday, we continue the story of Jesus at his last supper with his disciples. Families, thank you so much for tuning in into our Palm Sunday video message. And don't forget to tune in next Sunday for our Easter Sunday. Oh, and families, I have something fun for all of you to enjoy. It's called Quarantine Bingo. In our post, check out the link for you to download, copy, or print out. Also, don't forget, leave a comment, like, or share these videos. I love you all, kids. Be safe and have a great week.